first two tight ends we're going to give you out aren't even playing this week. We're looking for the long term. We're looking for the playoffs. And we start with Gerald Everett, who on Monday night had a monster game for the Rams. Two touchdowns, including the game winner. With Cooper Cup out for the season, is Gerald Everett the guy that's going to step up for Los Angeles? Well, I'm not sure if he is the guy or Tyler Higby, but you have to take that chance just based on what we just saw on Monday night against the Chiefs. The game without Cooper Cup, he scored two touchdowns. Greg, you mentioned we're looking for a tight end that could give us one touchdown. Well, how about two touchdowns? That's exactly what Gerald Everett did. He scored three touchdowns over his last two games. If you look at on the season, he has eight red zone targets with three of those coming in the past two games. Fun fact about Gerald Everett, this comes a little bit more so from the analytical department. He has the highest average separation from opposing defenses among all tight ends this season. So he's getting open. And not only that, he plays on a team that also includes Brandon Cooks and Robert Woods and Todd Gurley. So that's also going to help with his separation. I wouldn't be surprised if just a lot of the time Gerald Everett catches the ball, there's nobody around him at all. That's because opposing defenses are worried about trying to stop those other weapons. So it might be frustrating. One week it's Gerald Everett, one week it's Tyler Higby, but anytime we could get the, t- the starting tight end in a Rams offense, which is averaging over 35 points per game, I think we have to look their way, especially with the fact now that Cooper Cup is done for the season and Gerald Everett's trending in the right direction. So uh, we spoke about Gerald Everett. I have a feeling uh, we'll talk a little bit about Tyler Higby as well. Gerald Everett scored a couple of touchdowns, and a lot of the Rams beat reporters love what he provides on the field, and he's a red zone guy. So if you're desperate at tight end, you're looking for just that touchdown, Monday night was any indication Gerald Everett could be that guy for you in the playoffs.